What's up guys, Alec Mac 101 and welcome back to another unboxing video today. I have a sweet gun for you guys to see, but before we get into that, I have an unboxing coming out on Christmas Day. If any of you have been a part of my channel for any time, a lot of you have probably found my channel through a Christmas unboxing and you have definitely got recommended a Christmas unboxing because those videos go absolutely crazy. So, if you are new, I'm going to refresh your memory real quick looks like about eight feet now granted there is a table however i did not stack all of these end on end that would probably reach the top of my house away from there ah. Ah. ho 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 very christmas what are you doing there that is my stuff bam that's kind of along the lines of what you guys have to look forward to if you've not watched them go watch like at least a few of the christmas videos they are hilarious and this year's video is going to be absolutely insane i'll show you some of the stuff i'm already getting stuff there at the house i've been shipping stuff basically all of december that's why these videos in indiana have been a little bit low key um but there is going to be a massive massive thick six seas unboxing next week six days from today all righty boys time to whip out this box you guys already know by the title of the video what gun this is i'm not even gonna try and sh make you guess or think uh this is a polar star 416 man i absolutely love these guns um you guys seem to really like them too actually last week's video did really well i was kind of surprised it was a little bit different from videos i've done in the past but you guys are starting to be really consistent with watching the videos regardless of what i upload and so i really appreciate that honestly and this boy is so 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 cool so start Starting out here, we have a stock. This is actually different from the normal VFC stocks. All right, so I kind of lied. Uh, the 416 is, is not the title you will see because it is not a 416 that was shipped to me. Uh, I actually had that shipped to Columbus. So you guys will be blessed and be able to see that. Uh, now you have a sneak peek for the video release. Up here is actually a VFC Fusion engine. This is like the Amped Airsoft Customs, as you can tell by these awesome trades right here. Amped basically does like a licensing deal with VFC. So VFC makes their, their parts and their stuff and their externals, and they use VFC bodies, and then Amped throws their fusion engines in there. This one has a purple nozzle. I think that was like the stock blue one, um, but the purple is just the Amped one. You can see the beautiful green engine right there. It does have a stock G&G. It looks like hop-up system in there. That looks like a G&G. It could be the VFC one. No, it's metal, so it might be the VFC. When I didn't know VFC used the green wheels, that also could be something that Amp has done. Um, and then it does have a Daniel Defense Mark 18 rail. A few people have actually reached out to me recently and been like, dude, do you have any Mark 18s for sale? I'm really interested. So now I have this boy that I've purchased. It does come with a Embus rear sight, which is actually pretty dope. Kind of like that. does not come with anything front or any flash air. I bought this from a dude off of eBay, I believe. Um, this stock is actually really nice. It's got like some sort of really rubberized texture and the whole stock has a rubberized texture I don't know if this is VFC. I do not recognize it kind of feels like one of those system of butt pads in a sense um, Not like as obviously that as high quality um, It says assembled in Pittsburgh PA, which is pretty cool I actually go buy amps airsoft's store when I kind of go through Pennsylvania see some of my Pennsylvania friends um, as an amped IGL this one has the weird angle I've actually never used one of these so I'm not sure if they are good I think it would help in theory to have your line and kind of not hook up as much on branches because I try and run my line under my arm I know a lot of people will kind of run it to like the sides but if I'm playing milsim or anything and I'm running through I just get caught in so many branches or twigs we live here in the Midwest. There's trees everywhere. Um, but this is actually a pretty dope build, honestly. I really like it. It does have a little bit of rust on the rail, which is a little bit worrisome. But I think these Daniel Defense rails by Madbull are made a little bit cheaper now because they're only like $90. So I think they changed some of it. They just feel just a tad cheaper. Not a ton. Like, they're still really, really good quality rails. But instead of being $120, they're $90. And in order to cut that many co like costs, if you cut your cost by 25%, you're probably cutting some of the quality as well. Not 100% sure. That's just guesstimation. But this is a really nice rail system nonetheless, and it looks super good on these 10.5s. I think they're just, it's awesome little quad rail. I am more of a circle rail guy just personally, but I do love this. We also actually have a super cool last thing on here. It looks like it's like a Second Amendment um, charging handle of some sorts. It actually has kind of like the Radian Raptor style grips for those of you that shoot real steel stuff. Um, it's kind of nice and it has the American flag there obviously everybody loves that good time yeah super cool build and short video today like I said next week's video will probably be like 40 minutes 
So it's gonna be absolutely massive. I'm probably just gonna keep it in one video. I have cut it into two parts before, but I'm probably just gonna keep it one video unless it gets to the hour mark. And then at that point, I may split it up into like two half hour episodes. But you guys said you like watching all the way through. And if you can watch a 40 minute video, man, I appreciate that a ton. You guys are the best. This has been Alec Mac 111. I will wish you a Merry Christmas on Christmas Day. But until then, have a great pre-Christmas. Love you guys. It's Alec. I will see you soon.